Just another hard day in ISO. Like I, today, I just can't shake my anxiety. I, honestly, I'm so anxious today that I just feel anxious. Every single one is like, oh, you must be missing the gym and you must be like, you know, stay indoors, must be driving you nuts. And I feel like, you know what? Okay, yeah, I missed the gym, but I've got my home exercise gear. It's the least of my worries little bit of an isolation meltdown so today I decided to have after I've done what I needed to do this morning most of is to have a bit of a self-love day so I'm gonna do a treatment I have a bunch of treatments that I already have at home this is a protein treatment by L'Oreal and I'm gonna do a face mask by Sunken which is pH and everything free I'm not gonna add it tight because I've already cleansed my face and don't have anything else on it so I want to do the treatment first of all and I'm gonna talk to you while I do it so you know, like I completely believe that, um, and the reason I'm just using this, like I've gone onto pretty much zero waste and stuff. So I have my shampoo and conditioner bars now from Lush, which are bars, but I have a whole bunch of stuff that's still in, you know, plastic packaging and whatnot. So it's kind of, it's not like I'm going out and buying everything new. It's just that I'm using up what I have, which is sensible. And then I'll make sure that this will go to TerraCycle um, as well for proper re so I know 100% all of this is going to get recycled so I just wanted to Shout out with this particular video that you know We're really all going through a really hard time right now And if you're going to be watching this in the future, I guess like you work out This is actually because we're dealing with this virus pan global pandemic that we're dealing with now and it's really really hard um, for a lot of us to deal with especially those who have lost our jobs or our income or we not uh, cannot work now due to social distancing and things and you know there's a lot of uncertainty and you know economically the country even once the virus passes is um, like how are we going to be paying this back in the future and stuff like that so then I've got like family things as well which is hard because we're in another state and um, if you've watched my videos previously I don't have a relationship really with my mother and father but this particular uncle who's unwell he um I always wish he was my father like I, he, this uncle is awesome so it's really hard for me if you don't follow my social media you'll see it on below um, but I, I've gone into it usually in my Twitter and stuff about what's happening with that. He's just really old and not well in the home and WA has all, because each state in Australia is kind of like shut down and stuff except for where I am. So it's just been a really hard, so I guess like if I'm having a meltdown or if any of you having a meltdown, I'm just going to like, it's completely fine to have a meltdown. You need to let it out. You need to express it. You need to talk about it. You need to like not holding it in and not, not saying it how it is and how you're feeling. It's going to make things worse. You just need to like let it out. But also in this time, we need to like definitely make time for self care, like self love, a lot of self love in this time. It's um really, really necessary for just all of us because this is a really terrible situation. I think this is like, this is the worst thing in my whole life that I have had to deal with. Like in my whole life, honestly, I've, and I've had a lot of things happen and this is by far the worst, but I'm feeling a little up, more optimistic today just because, um, so I went for a walk. I got myself out of my cabin fever and I went for a walk and I walked past the old, um, my old apartment that I, used to live in before I moved here and um the concierge he was the concierge and he's still the concierge but now he's also the building manager over there and he's always saying come back come back come back and um he was saying about how people have just up and left like they've put in their notice and just up and left their apartments and I am and I think about that and I think about how grateful I am to have the tenant that I do have where I am because he's such an amazing tenant and to be honest I've been a really good tenant here too with my landlord so um, you know it's just like I have to also give gratitude in this particular time is you know the tenant that I have 
is really, really amazing. I'm not going to be homeless because I do have a property and I'm going to have that roof over my head. It's secure for me. Um, but it's still a stressful time regardless. And today I've made a, a very important decision today. Like I did not make any phone calls to departments and bodies that I need to because I just gave myself a day off from doing such because being put on hold and dealing with it, like we've spent the past two weeks like on hold to big companies, standing in queues. I just went and did some groceries, right? And I went down to, um, I don't even know, cause I don't even, normally I would do this in front of a mirror and I'm not in front of a mirror, so I'll just talk. So I went down to Coles and no word of a lie. That's a grocery store in um, in Sydney in Australia. There's like Coles and Woolworths. They're the two major ones. And then there's some other ones like IGA and Aldi and things. So I went down to Coles and no word of a lie. There was such a huge queue to even get in. And I just was like, stuff this. This is such negative, toxic energy. You walk past the meat section. There's no meat there. Like, not that I eat meat anyway. Like, they're just buying up everything at that particular too. And I know that there's another one, Aldi, across the way. And um, I went, no, and I walked over to Aldi. There was no queue. You walk in, everything was pretty much like I couldn't get any disinfectant. Okay, I have my disinfectant still. But and so, but at the health food store, I got two bottles of apple cider vinegar instead. So, you know, I'm not completely out of disinfectant because apple cider vinegar is just a natural. And you know what, it comes in a glass jar and blah, blah, blah. blah. So, um, I really it was just yeah like i don't want to be around that toxic negative energy people are buying up all the things to send overseas out of, out of greed and that's what instigated all of this but over at my little community um supermarket everyone is just normal like being normal just buying up what they need you know like not even buying up just getting what they need because there's no mad rush it's like a little like village like a little um shopping village but um yeah so i want to do a but it was just like about that like not being around that negative energy because it's like all around you wherever you can kind of go and we might find like just that environment that 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 like attracts like and people's energies like will rub off on you so you know when we saw we're seeing like everyone buying up all of this stuff it was like because people were seeing other people do it so they feared that they would miss out so then they were buying it up themselves like so when you're not surrounded by that you're just kind of like i don't need to buy well i didn't anyway but i don't need to buy like 10 packets of pasta because I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to miss out because I know that there's plenty of pasta in my grocery store and everyone's just being sensible and normal about it, right? So like in this situation, like it's really e easy for me to say because I myself, I know I, I had a meltdown last week and I know I'm going to have another meltdown. Like I know it's all going to happen again, but um, I think like we all just need to be, you know, in a self-love state when um, we're dealing with this. So what I'm also going to do today is now all the nail salons are closed as well. And when I was feeling miserable about myself, I, or it's really stressed or whatever, like me getting, okay, I used to get a haircut like every three months, but getting a pedicure every three weeks was like my, oh my goodness, my like total pamper thing. Sometimes I would do my nails too, but it was, it's really all about my feet. And I'm going to totally admit it guys, my feet right now, even though, it's been two weeks. They're looking just gross. Like I look down at them and go, that's disgusting. So um, I have everything that I need to do it myself. I have my little foot plane. I also have a buffer thing. I have one of these little guys here, which you use to like just get away at like the dead skin around your toes or the cuticles as well. And I also have this little cuticle like pusher like the top bit pushes and then that cuts around i have a couple of nail files i don't have a buffer but i might just like i can get a buffer tomorrow or i can just like lightly go over with that because i don't know there's anyway and i have a whole bunch of like nail varnish. i had i get i got rid of a whole bunch of nail varnishes before because 
I tried to use more of the eight like ones that didn't have all the chemicals in it. But one that I'm really like liking and I love all the time is Orly and it doesn't have the eight free or and stuff like that, but it lasts a long time and it also makes my nails feel a lot, lot stronger. And I really like this Nail Tech Nail Hardener as well. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna be doing my, my nails like with these. One thing like with nail polish and stuff is that viruses and bacteria can live underneath it so i'm kind of hesitant to put anything on my fingernails because you know your hands do touch things around the house your hands are cooking your hands you know even though i'm wearing latex gloves when i go outside my, you know i'm still like touching things and i'm still in the house and i'm still you know what i mean so i'm more about like just doing my toes every now and again because that is like my ultimate thing so i am going to start working away at my feet because it's up there already been like moisten because I've had them soaking while I guess like I was having a shower and I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit and then I'll wash it back and stay tuned. I take my hat off to those nail salon ladies. I really, really miss you guys for making my feet feel so amazing every month. So this is gonna be something that I have to like keep on top of all the time. Definitely nowhere near as good as what the nail ladies do, but it'll get me by for the next however long that we are stuck in isolation for. So I don't know. For me, when I clean something, it's kind of a self-love thing because I'm, I just know, I just love things like night and clean, nice and clean. And at the moment, like with all this stuff that's come out of storage in my apartment, because it's, it feels cluttered to me, it's not ordered, I feel cluttered, I feel not myself. So at least like if I clean my balcony, it will like look nicer. And yeah, I don't know, it's just like another self-love activity.